Okay, now I'm going to cover the ball. I've rolled out some white fondant here. I'm going to flip this over, and then I've got some just regular old shortening here. I'm going to brush the shortening on the back, and that's going to make the fondant stick to the, uh, to the white chocolate there. Okay, so we only have to worry about, you don't have to worry about the bottom. Make sure the best part is up, so whichever side you like the best um, is up. And then just kind of start to smooth this down. Okay, kind of be patient. Okay, and then once I get to about here, I'll go ahead and I'll cut some of this off. Now when, I, when I'm smoothing this, try not to really stretch it too much. Just kind of gently pull it apart and you end up stretching it. I might, you know, tear it at the base there too much. And then once you get it down a little bit further, cut a little bit more off. You don't want to take too much off though um, at first because uh, that makes it actually harder to get down to the base. Okay, and about this point, I'll just kind of trim most of it off and just tuck the rest underneath because you're not really going to see all of that. So I'll just upside down like this, bring it in, get it as smooth here as possible. Even that little crease, if I can just kind of pull that up and get that out. Okay. Put it back this way. That's also going to help it from rolling that extra fondant down there and just kind of Make sure that I smooth the top out because I had it, you know, leaning upside down. Okay, even underneath I can kind of take this and tuck it if need be. I think it might need, I was going to say, I thought it maybe needed a little bit more shortening there to get that to stick, but it's fine. Okay, then pick whichever part of the ball you like the best. Okay, like this. So you want to start about here, kind of bring it in more towards the center, and then back out, like so. And then you can go back over it a little bit more, okay, like that. And then the same thing, start like here, kind of bring it in, and then needs to go back out, so it's best easy to start at the bottom and then meet up with that. Okay, a little deeper. All right, so then what I like to do is um, <clears throat> make little lines, because actually in here, instead of piping in there, I don't usually like the way that looks because it fills in that area. I like to actually paint it with a brush. Um, so we'll make the little lines for it where the, um, the threads go. So out here, we'll just do some like little V-shapes. So I'll go this way. And then on the other side, like this, and then what we'll do is we'll add some red food color to those um, in a little while. So I'll do here, and then this way. So I'll just continue to do this and then we can paint it.